Y'all know what this means. All right, so um, I tend to get really excited when I see Phantom outside of Phantom. Um, references are everywhere. Seriously, I mean, it's, it's crazy. Um, I mean, hell, I went on a shitty haunted house ride at my state fair because Lon Chaney's face was painted on the front of it. But today I'm going to address Phantom as it has been introduced um, into the mainstream, particularly among kids, i.e. the Monster High doll series. Now, right off the bat, I wasn't too thrilled with the whole idea of Eric being associated with monsters. Um, but I know that Monster High is really referencing the Lon Chaney uh, version here, which is considered a uh, an official classic movie monster. So, forgivable. Regardless, you know, it's always fun to see Phantom references in the mainstream. Uh, it shows that the story is still alive and well and relevant. And when I found out about uh, Operetta being Eric's alleged daughter uh, for the series, I was stoked. Um, so I immediately got on YouTube uh, to get a look at her. And I'm expecting a bit of a gothic Lolita girl that loves opera. Um, real poised, um, basically like a female version of Eric. Um, what I get instead is... Hey there yourself, honey cow. I just won me a contest to meet my favorite opera singer, Christian the Von Hammerstone. I'm as nervous as a nine-headed hydra in a room full of guillotine. <laughs> the most hyper-stereotypical country chick you can imagine. I nearly fell out of my seat. Y'all, if we're gonna start believing Love Never Dies here, Eric escaped to Manhattan, not the Deep South. And it's just the god-awful stereotype here. I'm from the Midwest, okay? And half of my family is from the South. Let me tell you a little secret. Nobody talks like this. Being from Oklahoma and a Phantom fan, I feel attacked. I mean, there is no way that this is the daughter of the Eric and Christine we know. Um, it would have to be the offspring of these two. Oh, who are you? I am the Phantom of the Offspring. Now, I get it. Uh, Grand Ole Opry, uh, it's a country thing. Uh, I see what they were trying to do there. And an operetta is a shorter opera and usually more humorous. Um, but my question remains, why? Why couldn't we just have a girl that was hardcore into classical music? We had the perfect opportunity to get classical music exposed to kids. Why are we shunning classical music here? Of all of the Monster High characters, you chose to make Eric's daughter the comic relief. Logical. So what I have taken it upon myself to do, for my own sanity, if nothing else, uh, is to show you how it should have been done, Monster High. I'm gonna take this sin Harley Quinn looking deliverance sounding and I am literally going to put my years of watching doll repaint videos to use. I am going to fix this literal monstrosity and attempt to give us the daughter of Eric that we actually asked for. At least what I asked for. So I'm gonna study up. I'm gonna get my art skills back up to par. And Operetta is getting a makeover. 
I've already ordered the doll. Um, so once that and my supplies come in, get ready. I know this was a short one today, uh, but honestly, you guys, some of you might be happy about that. <laughs> I've got plenty more content queued up and ready to go, so I'll see you again next Tuesday. Stay fantastic with the pH and remember to keep your hand at the level of your eyes.